booster shots of the Pfizer vaccine are now being administered here in the Bay Area. Yeah, this comes after the CDC director signed off on a series of recommendations. Boosters will now be offered to people 65 and older. They will also be available to those with underlying health conditions. And in a most unusual move, the CDC director overruled the advisory committee, putting back in the recommendation for a third dose to individuals whose jobs might put them at risk. Now here in the Bay Area, a live look at San Francisco, where the city is getting ready to roll out its booster doses. Health officials say there will be nearly 100 vaccination sites across the city at places like pharmacies, doctor's offices, and clinics. There will also be high volume sites that will have the capacity to administer up to 300 doses per day and up to 25,000 doses per week. Looking live at the White House right now, President Biden is urging the millions of Americans who are now eligible for a booster shot to get that added protection. The booster shot is free and easily accessible. Go get the booster. Listen to the voices of the unvaccinated Americans who are lying in hospital beds, taking their final breath, saying, and literally we've seen this on television, if only I'd gotten vaccinated. Santa Clara County is already giving out those boosters, but there haven't been too many people lining up to roll up their sleeves quite yet. As KPI X5's Andrea Borba says, there's still some confusion about who can actually get them. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, we are talking about a very low volume here today in Morgan Hill. Just about a dozen people has received their booster shots at this vaccine clinic where I'm standing at the former DePaul Hospital. They say there is some confusion, but we are here to clear that up. At the COVID-19 vaccine clinic in Morgan Hill, the demand for booster shots was very low, only two given by lunchtime. Dr. Jennifer Tong, Assistant Chief Medical Officer for Santa Clara Valley Medical Center, attributes that in large part to confusion. Well, there was a lot of mixed messaging yesterday. As of this morning, the following groups, in addition to those 65 and above, can get a Pfizer booster, including those under 50 with at least one medical condition and those 18 to 64 who have an occupational risk of exposure to COVID-19. A key sticking point yesterday in the CDC vote was whether to approve boosters for those with occupational exposure. Dr. Grace Lee of Stanford chairs the committee that voted nine to six against making those with potential work exposure eligible for boosters. However, Dr. Lee disagreed with committee. Into workforce capacity issues in many healthcare delivery systems. I would say the same for teachers. We need to keep teachers healthy um, and make sure that they're able to come into the classroom to be able to teach our students. The CDC director overruled that committee this morning, making those with work exposures eligible. Donna Amaro, who works for Santa Clara County Probation, made her appointment for a booster as soon as she knew she'll get her shot next week. I just feel it's important to protect my family and the community and to make sure I'm safe as well from COVID. While there is no line here in Morgan Hill, Dr. Tong expects that to change. I do think we'll start to see an increase in demand for the boosters as people um, uh, better understand the eligibility and the availability. Andrea, how do people sign up to get a booster? Do you have to sign up? In most cases, you're going to have to sign up to get an appointment, Elizabeth. Here in Santa Clara County, they got their booster vaccine website off the ground around noon today. There is also myturn.ca.gov. And this is an important point. If you have somehow lost your vaccination card, they don't need it here. They can pull your vaccination record up in the system. They can print you out a new card with your updated shot, all three of your shots on the same card. So if you've lost that oddly shaped card, you're going to be okay. <laughs> a lot of people are breathing a sigh of relief on that. All right, Andrea, thank you.